Hello guys, welcome to my Fusion 360 tutorials. Today we are going to design a threaded post and a nut, a simple nuts, and then bring all together with a joint. So let's start. First, we need to design a base for the post, and uh, we start uh, with a center rectangle here. Can be any measurement, no worries just click extrude and extrude it a little bit select the profile extrude it click ok now we are going to design here in this surface a circle so hit c for circle select the surface here and draw a circle about six six millimeters now click e for extrusion Select a circle and make it about 30. And we have a post for our threaded. So uh, we are going to create a thread and select the post and select model here, very important. And we have a model threaded. Be sure it's M6 and 6 in size as we. we did for the post so you can click remember size click ok and we have the threaded post so let's design a thread a uh, nut so we need a polygon circumscribed polygon and select the, the face can be the same one as the base and around here we are going to design a nut so with we will be about 10 millimeters 10 millimeters and the center will be six so 12 no sorry six and let's it's a little bit but let's extrude it about 10 now you have a huge nut here let's do the thread so for the thread select thread and click the hole it's all all defined here you can choose but we are going to use the same thread as the post so click ok now you got the thread and the, you got the threaded rod and the, the net let's join all together so you click joint oh but first you need to make the these two bodies component so let's go to bodies and create click on the bodies here the group and create common from bodies now you, uh, we have the components transformed to uh, the bodies transformed to comments components so now you have components we are going to do the joint so click assemble joint and we need to make a cylindrical joint so let's do the moving part first so this phase here will be with this face but we need to, to choose the center so we uh, go over the face click command key and the, it will uh, lock to this face and we choose the center point here now for the component 2 we need to go to this face here click command and we lock to this face and we, we choose the center part here now as you can see it will assemble here so click OK uh, we need to define our limits so to define the limits you go to the joints and the joint you created right click and edit joint limits we choose slide and minimum and maximum now you have these two triangles here just drag this to 
about the end of the screw and this about this end here so we can animate it and make sure it's all okay as you can see the screw is not rotated but we are going to fix this just click ok and go to assemble and click motion link now you have the motion we need to make a motion link to this joint so we first select the joint the cylindrical joint then choose rotation rotate z so we need to link with same joint here and we can set the distance is one millimeter threaded uh, distance so it's already defined and the angle so which rotation is 360 degrees we have one millimeter movement as you can see it's already working the animation with the limits we define just click ok and now we can play with it a little bit like so we can oh first we we have to ground this piece so it doesn't move as you can see as i drag this this part isn't fixed all the all the components will move because we have a joint here so we need to revert and make this part a grounded position so we go to component here and select ground now it's fixed so you can drag the nut around and it will perform the slight movement like a normal bolt and screw as you can see you can also click to edit the joint because it's easy so you select this and right click here then highlight the components again and now you can do the same movement and define where you want the the nut to be captured so if you don't want to capture just click escape or revert so this will be the default position but if you want on this position here you can do the the revolving and capture the position how the default position is this one okay so i hope you liked it this is a simple tutorial but it's essential if you want to do some uh, screw joints okay uh, uh, please subscribe and uh, until the next tutorial bye bye hi guys as I forgot something if you want to render it just go to render and let's apply some material so click a for appearance and select the stainless steel here and here now you have something but you can choose many colors let's try aluminium so let's put this blue and this red and we have a nice fancy look now you can render it and play with it a little bit like so let's render it and we have a beautiful piece hope you enjoy it until next time